In this video, we'll see about delayed delivery options. Now, suppose if you want to send an email to some person, but not immediately now, but after some time and day or months, you can send it with the delayed delivery option. Now, suppose you don't remember, you're very bad into remembering the, you can say birthdays or sending some messages. So you can use this option, let's say birthday message, happy new year message, anything. Let us see how do we work on delayed delivery option. So I'll just go to this uh, file that is home, click on this new email and I'll send an email to some person. Let's say I'll send the email to pavanbusiness10 at gmail.com and I'll say yes, happy new year. Okay, this email, but I do not want to send it now because there's still time to send an email. So what I can do is I can assign a time to that and also a date. So I'll just go to this options and here I have in the more options group, I have this delay delivery option. So click on this delay delivery option. It says delivery options. When do you want to deliver? So if you see, do not deliver before. From here, you, you have to select the date. So I'll select 31st December 2016. So it will not deliver before this date. And the time should be 11.30. So I'll keep on scrolling down and try to find 11.30 here. Okay, so the last one is given as 11.30 or otherwise I have this 12 a.m. on the top. So I'll select this as 12 a.m. on the top itself. So remember, do not deliver before this date and time. So it's working fine. Now, there's one uh, condition in this. If you want to send this email in the delay delivery option, your computer or your laptop or the place where you using this outlook should be on. If you switch off your laptop or PC, this will not be able to send the message. Okay, so that time there's a limitation. So mostly in the companies, if you go, they do not shut down the PC. They just keep on power of, you can say as hibernate mode or so on. So make sure your PC or computer is not off. If it is off, you can use this option as expires at. That means do not send this message after a particular date and time. So keep it there itself and do not uh, forward it otherwise. So this is again, you can select date and time. So I do not want to send them. At the end, if you see, I have save copy of sent message. Definitely you have to save a copy. What message have you sent to whom? You have to save a copy of that. Whom do you want to send this? You can select the contacts. You can add the contact names here. So it will be sent to those people. And also you can select the category. You can see you select the category, very important blue and so on. So the category also will be given to that place itself. Now what I'll do is I'll just click on close. So this message will be gone to this date and time. Click on close. All right. Now, so what I'll do is I'll type here the name I've given and happy new year I've typed here. And now I'll just click on this send button. How do I check that the message has gone or not? So if you see, if I click on this out box, I have still the message which is given here. That is business power and happy new year. Even if I refresh, even if I click on send and receive, it will not go until that particular date and time. So if you want to check, you can just click on this send and receive. After I click on this button, you just see here at the status bar. And if I click on send and receive folders, so it is just refreshing your inbox and everything. So, okay. Meanwhile, if you can keep a track here, send and receive, the message will be still in this outbox. It will not go in the sent items. So let us wait for that. Yeah. So if you see, it is still in the sent items and this has been completed, the send and receive options. So it will not go until that. And even if you see here in the Gmail, and if I see sent items, sent mail, so you see there's no email here itself. So this is how you can work on delayed delivery options. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.